Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. As you might... Oh man, there's crap on here. As you might be able to tell, I have this doll stand here because I have, after maybe a year? Uh, I think it's been a year since I bought any dolls. And I have... And I'm going to unbox it because it has just arrived and I'm, that's how I do. Now, we have a 1992 Totally Hair Barbie. This is the Black Barbie. She's gotten really expensive since the 25th anniversary doll came out three years ago and because the only one that they reproduced for the 25th anniversary was the blonde one. The brunette Barbie is still pretty easy to find but if you want the European Ultra Hair Whitney or the black Barbie you're gonna be spending usually over two hundred dollars. Now I was really lucky and I got her for significantly less than the going rate on eBay of 200 to 300 dollars. And I actually got my Ultra Hair Whitney for less than 200 as well. And uh, had to wait for a while for her to arrive from Russia. This one came from, I don't know, the Midwest or something. I didn't really check. Alright. So, this is how we open these ones. Now, some people might be horrified that I'm opening a doll that is older than probably most of the people online now. We have the... Oh, it looks like more green than usual. What's this? coupon for mom. Now, these depth styling gels, I had to, I think I had to throw out the other ones when I got uh, some of the other dolls in the last couple years because the plastic cracked and the goop was leaking everywhere. A one year limited warranty. I don't think we need that anymore. Super styling tips. Oh yeah. I don't need those. We're just gonna keep that. Okay. So let me. I gotta. I just painted my fingernails and I don't really want to screw them up. Let me get this tape off of here. These are so much old, easier to open than newer dolls. You need the jaws of life to get the freaking little plastic tabs off of newer dolls. It's a pain in the ass. Mm. Alright. There we go. Get a plastic thing in there. Alright, so let's check this out. Oh, it's like stuck to the bottle. Let me get the bottom tape too. Oh! Ow. Slip my wrist on that thing. And just go, I'm just going to pull that off of there, because I don't really need that. I'm going to prop this up. There we go. Alright, just pull that out. Let me examine this. Yeah, that is like fully melted onto the depth bottle. I think, oh, it's taped on, that's why. There's a little bit of tape here. Okay. <gasps> it's still squishy. I don't want to get it all over my hands, though. Let's take a look. <sighs> oh, there it is. It doesn't really feel any different. Ew, it's like chunky. I was going to say, it doesn't really feel any different than the 
styling gel I bought from the um, from the store a few years ago, but in the um, in the European and the Asian market ones, it just says Barbie or something like that on here. It doesn't have the brand. I had to wipe that crap off my fingers. They have different market versions of these dolls. There's, I think the, the ones in, there's different ones. Oh, I could be mixing it up with the rocker Barbies, but there's, I think it's Peru or Argentina. They have Super Caballos, Barbie Super Caballos. Let's say Rotoplast. Yeah, so that's Venezuela. Oh, look at these rubber bands. Those are, I can't believe they're not rotted out and melted. There another one. Those are going to have to be thrown out because I can't believe they're not already rotted. Now these shoes, when I got the brunette Barbie, a year or two ago the plastic on these 90s pumps is very brittle and it cracked and I had to put her in some uh, nostalgic reproduction pumps instead because that's what I had but we're gonna try to use these so she has the star comb in this late blue color I think no Ken's is purple I think and then brunette Barbie has the blue comb as well it's got a little bag there was that in the camera am I even holding things upright the shoe uh, I could put like a little There we go. Shoe. And then the the comb again. This is the same kind of pick comb that they would have with some of the other dolls in the late eighties and early nineties. I think the I wanna say the lights and lace dolls have this comb too. And then the 1989 Beach Blast dolls have it, but theirs has like a seahorse on top of it instead of the rainbow with the stars. Okay. Let me get back. Is that almost okay? These twist ties are so much better than the little plastic tabs and strips they use now. And I absolutely hate it when they have a plastic thing that's like the hair is sewn into it and you have to rip it and it fucks up the hair. They did that in the late 90s and they might still do it. These days they just like slime all kinds of goop in the hair and have it pressed in there and some of it doesn't even wash out. You know, got those like hard to find fashionista doll from 2015. It costs like 30 bucks online. 30 or 40 bucks and when I got her oh it does have a hair thing but it's not sewn in it's just a tab I'm gonna get the... mm. oh yeah so the hair was all slimy and I washed it twice and it never came out and I actually sold that doll because her head mold was all squishy and it she did not look that good after trying to collect her so I was like bye bitch oh, there we go and defeat mm. Well, that was an exciting chain reaction. Put Fred back here. All right. Get 
is does she have a okay she doesn't have any rubber bands in her hair which is great because I do not want that now her hair is crimped and she's been in the box for almost 30 years so it's fresh but a little bit flat but that's all right it's better than getting fuzzy all right so she has the 1987 Christy head mold and she's got the blue version of the dress and she has the white panties like they all come with if they're fresh out of the box so you can see Barbie has the pink one and then the brunette Barbie also has this dress mm -hmm. put her on the stand the shiz shiz and I got shiz her dress is a little bit longer than some of them tend to come. So, I'll try to put her on the stand the other way. I might have to get a different stand. She doesn't really... Yeah, she's kind of swinging around. We'll get a different stand. This might be from Uhura, but I'm not sure. There we go. All right, now she's not flopping around there. Okay. Now we have a properly removed doll here. I don't think any, well actually the um, the 25th anniversary doll came with the headband already on. Oh come on. I need smaller fingers for this. Oh yes. That like lovely hair tearing sound that we don't want to hear. Her hair is a little dry. It's not quite like the um, horrendous fiber hair that most of the 1995 dolls started to have. Uh, there we go. Okay. And uh, it's not quite as smooth as some of the hair from the... Ooh, maybe I like that. Gonna give her like a Wonder Woman kind of situation here. Now I don't really want to brush her hair because it's gonna take some of that crimping out. So I'm just gonna try to make it a little bit more smooth here. I don't want that. I don't think I want that centered either. Oh God, be with me. My fingers are not small enough for this anymore. I get her eyebrows in the frame here. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I think I liked it better centered. There. Okay. Yes. Oh, she's definitely giving superhero vibes now. I like that. I don't know if I want this on here at all. I think. I think. Least. Let me just leave it off there. Now, she comes with a twisty shoelace. This one is really bright. And as a hair accessory, this is, um, it's got one of these in it. One of these wire things. And these 
twirly ribbons. The 25th anniversary doll is really cheap. The material is not as nice, it's not quite as bendy, The and it's missing the little things. So that's another one of the reasons that I actually wasn't going to get the 25th anniversary doll until I decided I wanted some completism. So we have a blue puff, and there's a green elastic puff. So let just get her a little bit of... Ooh, yes, this is... Is working with my superhero vibe here. I'm just gonna kick some ass. I feel like she's gonna need something on her ankles, but maybe not. Okay. If you want any, like superhero dolls, um, the Flying Hero Barbie, 1996. I had her for a little while. I really wanted was the Flying Hero Kira doll. She had, oh, look at this tape on here. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Got like a little. Mm. Yes, okay. Work. So before I run out of film on my 20 minute segment here, I'm going to bring, I'm going to detach the camera, so hold your, onto your guts if you're going to get sick. And we're going to go through the crustier part of my room and set her up with the other dolls. Now I've got the styling head coming this week, and then my set will be finished. There's a couple of, there's a couple of figurines that I'm not going to get because I don't like them. Stick her right here where she's gonna. <sighs> okay. There we go. Alright, so here is the black Barbie. We could call her Totally Hair Christy if we wanted to. I'm gonna focus this a little bit more. Okay. So we have the new girl here that I wanted for a couple years and had a hard time getting. This is the 25th anniversary doll. Her hair is a little thinner and flatter. Here is the European Ultra Hair Whitney. She has the Steffi head mold. And back here is the, I think it's 1967 or 68. This is the Barbie and Stacy case. We had the swirly Q fashion and the original swirly Q dress on a modern Barbie here. <clears throat> there she is. This is my original totally hair Barbie from, that I had since 1992. Her hair got ruined, so I have rerouted it with this lime. And she has a very expensive headband from a collector doll with the brunette Barbie and both head molds of Ken. See a little difference in the color of their shirts. And down here I have Courtney and Skipper. They were, uh, why is that dark all of a sudden? Well, anyway, Courtney and Skipper were Toys R Us specials. And we have the world's, oh man, my window looks all shitty. The world's smallest figurine here. And then in the, I think it's circa 2000, little McDonald's, totally hair Barbie that I added a little headband to. So this is, as far as I know, the entire collection. And when I get, when I get it focused, when I get the styling head, then I'll have like all of it. So, brand new. I love her. She's so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna run out of time, and that's it for now. Let's see. Little pla. Oh, there we go. Lightning. Lighting. Plastic crack adventure. Bye now. <laughs>